In this video, I'm going to unbox and assemble the Creality CR10 3D printer which costs approximately $400 with shipping included. This item was sent by Gearbest to be reviewed and you can find the link to the product page in the video description. Let's start the unboxing. The 3D printer was nicely packaged with a very thick foam securing the frames and all the components. The printer comes in a huge box because it is almost completely assembled. Not only that, but the print volume is 300 by 300 by 400 mm. It has the base, the Z-axis frame, the electronics control box and assortments. It even comes with a spatula and painter's tape to help you remove your prints from the bed. The kit comes with a one-page instruction manual, which isn't very useful. However, it brings a micro SD card that you can use for your offline prints. If you connect it to your computer, you can find some PDF files in English with all the instructions to build the printer and prepare the slicer software with the right settings. The assembly couldn't be easier. You simply tighten up a few screws and T-brackets. After that step, immediately, all your frame is assembled and it feels very sturdy. The wiring is simple. Every wire is braided and labeled, so you know exactly where you should connect each of them. Before you start printing, you need to level the bed. I've added painter's tape to the base Turned on the 3D printer, selected Auto Home and disabled the stepper motors. Then I've started to tighten up the bed screws for each corner until I felt the bed was leveled. In summary, it took me about 40 minutes since unboxing until I started my first print. I've printed a small test cube with a PLA filament. To be honest, I expected that my first print wouldn't come out right. I thought I might have to adjust some of the slicer settings or level the bed better. However, the cube was printed perfectly and each face was very smooth. My second print was a holder for cards, micro SD cards and USB drives. I have a lot of SD and micro SD cards that I frequently use with my Raspberry Pi and cameras, so this turned out to be a useful item that I'll always have on my desk. Finally, I wanted to 3D print something more challenging. And I found this 3D print design for a lamp on a Thingiverse. Even though I've added the top and bottom parts to Kura to show you, I print them individually. The bottom came out right and it took about 8 hours to print. But the top of the lamp holder failed at about 80% of completion, due to a bad layer. Still, the lamp looks really nice and with a great finish. I didn't remove the skirt of the prints because I thought it looked better with it. I've used one RGB lamp that can be remote controlled and it has a couple of effects that you can choose from. Here's how the lamp looks like after the assembly. To wrap up, I'm impressed that you can get such good prints so quickly with this printer. I think all the parts feel high quality and the assembly process is very clever and easy. I personally think this is the best printer you can buy within this price range and it's currently being recommended by the community as the best printer for this price. If you are on a $200 budget, I still recommend the Tivo Tarantula. However, the Creality CR10 is the best option if you are willing to spend a bit more, because it will save you a lot of time in the assembly process and bed leveling. The CR10 will also give you better prints and the option to print bigger objects. 
you can find a link to purchase the Creality CR10 3D printer at a discounted price in the video description. Thanks for watching.